Hello and welcome to STEM with the Houston Public Library. I'm Miss Jolie and we are going to explore potential and kinetic energy. This activity is intended for ages 9 to 12. You will need craft sticks and eye protection for this activity. All right? So we're going to be working with, like I said, potential energy and kinetic energy. So potential energy is the energy possessed by a body by virtue of its position relative to others, stresses within itself, and other factors. We're going to be especially working with stresses within itself as we create this. And then we're also going to be working with kinetic energy, which is the energy which a body possesses by virtue of being in motion. So we're going to store potential energy and then we're going to release it as kinetic energy. So we're going to start uh, with some uh, craft sticks. And I've colored them so that you guys can see in contrast um, how this pattern is working out. They don't have to be colored. And like I said, you do need some kind of eye protection, glasses, sunglasses, goggles, something like that. Because if these uh, pop out of place before you're ready for them, they could get you in the eye and you wouldn't want that. All right, so we're going to start. Everything is going to revolve around a weaving pattern, which is over, under, over. All right, so here we've got our red stick over, under, over. So we're going to do our next stick in the opposite pattern, which is going to be under, over, under. So it can be a little tricky sometimes. An extra set of hands can be helpful, but it can be done by yourself, as you'll see. So for this one, we're starting here. Let's get those evened out. There we go. So you want the second one to be about the middle of the set of three. All right, and then we're going to add another section so that we can make a long chain reaction. So we're still following our over under pattern. So this blue is going over the last one, so it's going to go under the next one. I actually prefer to start with my ones that go under. It's a little easier to get them out of the way first, and then you do your overs. So just like with the ones that go this way, we still have over under over pattern. I'm going to move my fingers down. I prefer to use a flat hand when I'm doing this because it helps stabilize everything better. You can do it with just like one finger and this is where sometimes a second person can come in really handy if you have another person around to help you out. All right, and so this red is going over, this one's going under, this one's going over, so they've got to do the opposite. So we're gonna go like that, all right? And then we're going to move it down and we're going to set up our next set. Just continuing with that opposite. So our red is over, under, and then over again. So do the same here. And then we're going to do one right here. I'm gonna move it down so you guys can watch so put the next section on. All right, so we're going to do a cross one. So this one needs to go under, over, and under. All right, like that. We move down to do another section. This will be the last section I do in this part of the video. Um, and then I'll show you what a long one looks like in a minute. We've got our over, under, over pattern, and then we're going to continue it again. So over, under, over, still the opposite of what was before it. And then we're actually gonna go ahead and put another crossbar on this one. We're gonna follow the same, doing the opposite. So it's over here, so we're gonna go under, it's under here, so we're gonna go over, and then we're gonna go under this Last one. Ah, there we go. So you'll notice that here on this last section of red, I've done the two. Um, you use that to keep everything tight and from popping. So it won't pop until I'm ready for it. If you're 
stopping and can intend to continue further on at a later time or you need a break, this is just how you end it. So our central ones, our ones in the middle, only have the one stick across them, but our two ends, the beginning and the end, both have the double six. So that just holds everything in place because when I remove this stick, we're going to see all the pot potential energy that is being created by, see this bowing here? This is the stress that we're seeing. And so when we release all of that, it's going to turn into kinetic energy and it's going to go flying all over the place. And so I'm gonna show you all this one and then, let's see here. Three, two, one. There they go. All right, and I have a large one set up. So if you will come with me, we'll go take a look at that one. All right, so this is the same pattern that we just did. But this one is just shy of 15 feet long. It's running between some of our bookshelves here. So I'm going to set this off for you guys. And three, two, one. Pretty awesome. Well, thank you for joining us for STEM at the Houston Public Library and make sure to share any photos of your activity online and tag us using hashtag I love HPL. We'll see you next time.